All right, everyone, here's the deal for today's video. A new Pokemon game is right around the corner. So I thought, you know what? I want to sculpt my favorite of the new starters, Fuecoco. Now let's be real here. There's been a ton of Pokemon fan art. There's an infinite amount of Pokemon fan art on the internet. And as soon as these starters were announced, people immediately made tons and tons of it. There's tons of speculation for all of the evolutions and everything. And well, because of that, I don't wanna just recreate him one-to-one. -one. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna to try to dial back some of his cuteness, make him a little bit more aggressive, uh, still maintain his design elements, but kind of play with it a little bit more. I'm kind of imagining what he would look like in like a Capcom fighting game. Like, oh man, could you imagine if, if Capcom was able to make like a Pokemon fighting game in the style of Marvel versus Capcom? That would be amazing or even a Smash Brothers ripoff where everyone was just a Pokemon trainer and you got to choose your loadout between like dozens and dozens of Pokemon. Why hasn't anyone made these games yet? They would be a lot better than Pokin. Anyways, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let's focus on the task at hand. I thought it'd be fun to do this one digitally. Mix it up a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna sip on some of my creative fuel here and uh, start sketching and see what I come up with. Let's see how this goes.
And there you have it. There's my fighting game version of Fue Coco. Now I knew when I was sculpting it and I decided to make the nostrils clay instead of just painting them on that it might look like a mustache. And I wanted to see how it would look once I actually painted it. After I painted it, it still looks like a mustache, but I like it too much to get rid of it. It's too funny. I, I could cut them off now, but honestly, I mean, look at that. That's, that's great. So I'm gonna leave it. We'll just say that this one's the evil twin version of Fue Coco. I like it. One thing that I struggled with on this one was I got a new batch of monster clay in, and it's from the same supplier. It's the same everything. It's medium grade, but for some reason it's really dense and hard. Like, I don't know if it's mislabeled and is actually the hard version, or if it's just a bad batch, because I could not like form this stuff unless it was really hot. Once it cooled, it was impossible to do anything with. I broke several of my sculpting tools on it. Like, it was, it was a pain to, to work with. I'm just glad that it was a simpler sculpt, because if I had that clay on any of my previous ones, like Black Adam or something, which if you haven't seen that video, you should go check out, it, it would have been impossible. There's no way I could have made it work with that clay. Honestly, which leads me to believe that it's probably just a bad batch. I don't think that the hard version of the clay is supposed to be so brittle. It seems to go against what monster clay even is. It is what it is though. Luckily, I was still able to make it work for this one. I will say, looking at him now, he's looking a little lonely. I wasn't going to do the other starters, but uh, what do you guys think? Should I do the other starters? Kind of in the same fighting game kind of style, a little more aggressive. Let me know what you think. If a lot of people want me to do the others, I will. Or if this video does well, I'll, I will. We still got a few weeks before the game comes out anyways. Why not? Maybe I'll even do a trainer. Anyways, I think that about wraps this one up, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to visit AscentIntoMadness.com to see more of my work. You'll also find all of my social links there, including a Patreon if you want to help support the channel further. Besides that, we're now a month into this channel. I'm a month into sculpting, and... I just want to let you know I appreciate every one of you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.